Hey guys. Welcome. To the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Front porch edition. So it's been raining pretty good here. That's so why I'm out here on the front porch. And uh Tonight I am smoking my Bones pipe and in it I am smoking some Maltese Falcon. Mm, mm, mm. I do love Maltese Falcon. been a while since I've smoked some of this and it is fantastic man I love this stuff and I love this little bones pipe man this pipe is fantastic as well just a sweet smoking pipe I do love sitting out here on the front porch. It is much prettier out here than out on the back porch, on the back patio. But it's noisier out here. And down in the valley here, there's a freeway. I'm up on a hill and it goes down into a valley. And then there's a mountain over here called Mount Helix. And down in this little valley here, there's a freeway. And uh, the sound just kind of comes up here onto the, the front of the house from that freeway. And it just, you can really hear it out here in the front. But you can't hear it so, so much out in the back. There's a lot prettier out here, much greener. A lot more trees, much prettier out here. I'll come out here in the daytime. Do some videos out here. So the other day, <clears throat> it rained here, and when everything dried, everything was colored, covered in just this yellow powder, which is just pollen, you know, just pollen. And my allergies have been going crazy. My eyes have just been water, and I wake up, and they're just crusted shut with crud, and my headaches, and my, <clears throat> my nose is plugged up but thank god for Benadryl boy Benadryl works amazing for allergies makes me a little bit tired sometimes but man I'll take tired to having allergies any day of the week supposed to rain for the next three days I believe it is We're supposed to have rain for the next three days here we can use it so that's a good thing definitely 
definitely a good thing here. I went to uh, went to help my wife out at her school today. She needed some help with uh, she needed someone to scan for her class at school. So I went in there and she used me as her scan dummy. So. studying to be a vascular tech and uh, almost done. She's be done in June. So she just, uh, the class was one person short today, so I volunteered to go in and help them out. And we went out and had a nice dinner. Went to this uh, barbecue place called Pioneer Barbecue. Really good, really, really good barbecue. I had some pork belly and macaroni and cheese uh, appetizer, which was fantastic man that pork belly was delicious so was the macaroni and cheese and I had pulled pork uh, for dinner it was just that magnificent it was really good stuff really really good So I recently had one of my videos taken down for inappropriate com comment, uh, inappropriate content. And the inappropriate content was that I had put a phone number in there to a local uh, tobacco shop. My, my tobacco shop that I go to, Liberty Tobacco, which I had no idea was illegal to do with the new YouTube. Can't put any links to businesses or phone numbers to businesses, any kind of advertising with links or phone numbers anymore. So they just pulled the video down and said, you know, inappropriate content. No, you know, remove this link, this phone number. You can keep it up. Nothing. It was just boom. You're doing it's down. It's down. It was the first thing I'd ever done wrong. So they didn't give me a strike or anything. They just told me the next time you'll be in YouTube jail. And you won't be able to do this, 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 or this. Hey, 
think it's their their rules, you know. It would be nice if they gave you the opportunity to fix something before they took it down. You know, they, they would just say, hey, our guidelines don't allow this. Can you remove that little thing there? And then everything will be fine. Seems simple to do. Inappropriate content seems kind of drastic, you know. But no biggie. So while I was out uh, at the college with my wife, I noticed that uh, some of the trees they have out there drop some great branches for tampers. I mean, they are perfect for tampers. So I may have to start picking some up once in a while when I'm out there. You know, just one or one or two at a time. And just they were gorgeous wood. Some of these trees, the trees they have in this front yard here, this pine tree has some branches that I think would probably make some nice tampers too. So I'm going to have to cut some of those down and sand the bark off and see what the wood looks like underneath. So that'll be a uh, thing for this week to do. I picked up little pieces about as long as this tamper it's laying on the ground. Picked it up. It was perfect for a tamper. I just need to uh, sand the ends down, make them flat. You know, cut off the end and sand it. It'll be perfect for a tamper just the way it was. Man, it was beautiful. Gorgeous. Just natural wood, just the way it was. I think that'll be my everyday carry tamper from now on. It's going to be awesome. I hope you guys had a good day. I know I had a good day started off kind of rough with the allergies and stuff but uh it's turned out pretty darn good so just got to keep on trucking you know and uh i hope everything goes good for you tomorrow and i will probably get out here hopefully i'll get out here tonight for a late night smoke Maybe I'll break out the lanterns out here and see how that goes. We'll uh, we'll see. So we'll catch you guys later. God bless you guys. I love y'all. Have a good night. God bless. <laughs>